Hello everybody, welcome to Science Plus TV once again. Today I am going to explain you the structure and working of an electric bell. This is the very simple diagram that I have prepared for uh, you guys to understand it well. Okay, so let's start. First of all, uh, let me introduce you what this electric bell is. Uh, this is a very commonly used device which we just install in our houses and we call it as a bell. Okay, and uh, it works on electricity, right? But the basic mechanism of it is electromagnetism. Okay, it basically works on the magnetic effect of electric current. In its structure, as you can see, there is a very simplified uh, structure where you can see an iron bar on which this wire is wrapped around. So it becomes a solenoid. It becomes a solenoid. There is a wire which is then continued by using a cell, a switch and the wire is again attached to an armature which you can see this is an armature. At the end of this armature there is a very small hammer okay and here this huge structure as you can see it is the gong on which the hammer will hit to produce a ringing sound okay now just look at this contact this contact point is very very important what will happen in its working uh, before that I just want to let you know also that this one is the iron strip Now I will explain you step wise how this electric bell works. First of all, when the switch is on off position, circuit is incomplete and nothing will happen. But as soon as we turn it on by pressing the switch, the current will start to flow from positive terminal to the negative terminal of this circuit. As soon as the current will start to flow from this solenoid, this solenoid will start behaving as an electromagnet. Okay? As soon as it becomes an electromagnet, it will attract this iron strip towards itself. The iron strip will come towards this uh, electromagnet. In turn, the armature will also come uh, to this side. The hammer will hit the gong but as soon as the hammer and armature will come to this side you can see this contact will be broken okay uh, because there is not a fixed contact this is a temporary contact so as soon as the armature will move this side this contact will be broken and the circuit will become incomplete as soon as the circuit is broken the electromagnetism will stop this electromagnet will demagnetize itself and again it will now it's no longer a magnet it's a simple solenoid so it will stop attracting the iron strip and iron strip will again go back to its original position this hammer will also go back to its original position this armature will also but as soon as it will attain its original position it will again get the contact at this point and as soon as this contact is made, because you see our switch is in on position, again the current will flow, again electromagnetism will be there, again this attraction will happen, iron strip will again be attracted, so armature will again move this side and hence the hammer will again hit the gong and in this way the continuous cycle of magnetization and demagnetization will continue until you turn off the switch. As soon as we'll turn off the switch, then this all will stop and the bell will start, stop ringing. Okay, that's all for today. I hope you have understood the concept properly. Thank you so much.